Welcome back. And today we are going to discuss something that's near and dear to my heart, which is public speaking. That is not a skill you're born with. And if you're scared to do it and want to do it, basically you have to do just like all the greats do, because nobody was born doing it perfect. So way back in the day, I took the John Maxwell philosophy, and that is to excel at public speaking. You got to embrace the art of communication with a mindset rooted in growth and leadership. Now, John Maxwell, he's an expert on leadership, emphasizes the importance of effective communication in his teachings. And I'm going to give you uh, some key principles to excel at public speaking inspired by this John Maxwell philosophy. And I'm going to do it, you know, in just a few minutes. Uh, I think it's going to give you some bullet points that will help you get the confidence that you need. I did it all, all the way from talking to myself in the mirror uh, so I could see my body language and my eye contact and my voice inflection and all that stuff. But basically, uh, I'm going to bullet point this out for you. So hopefully it'll help you if you want to go into that public speaking or just getting up in front of any kind of group to speak. Um, it makes you move to the front of the pack and perceived as a leader and, and somebody that people would, would follow when you're a good public speaker. So, uh, number one is going to be mastering the fundamentals, basically. All right. Public speaking is a skill that can be developed through intentional practice. Um, you can begin by mastering the fundamentals of communication, clear articulation, an engaging tone, and confident body language. Just a strong foundation is really crucial for building a solid grasp of the basics. And it's, it's essential and effective public speaking, no doubt. Number two would be to know your audience. Okay, John Maxwell often emphasizes the significance of knowing your audience. So tailor your message to resonate with the individuals you are addressing, understanding their needs, concerns, and aspirations. This knowledge will enable you to connect on a deeper level and fostering a sense of relatable and, and, and really you can be engaged with your audience. That's why I always encourage people to speak and help people on stuff that you've gone through, right? Don't speak on chemical science if you're not going to be versed on it or if you're not an expert on it. But if you've gone through a terrible divorce and now you're a single dad or a single mom with three kids and you've successfully made it where they've got a roof over your head and food and you've got a car and all that, that's something that people can relate to and that you could speak to, Okay. Next, that brings me to what we were just speaking about, is telling compelling stories. Stories have the power to captivate and inspire. I want you to incorporate anecdotes and narratives that resonate with your audience. Maxwell frequently uses storytelling as a tool to convey his powerful messages. Craft your stories thoughtfully, ensuring that they reinforce your key points and leave a lasting impact with the audience. Authenticity and embracing it. Authenticity builds trust. Be genuine and true to yourself when speaking in public. Maxwell often stresses the importance of authenticity and leadership. Don't be a fraud. Your audience will connect more deeply when you, with you when they sense the uh, sincerity in your words and your actions. Now, here's where anybody that's any good at anything in the world and the, and the, superstars are even better is you've got to practice diligently. Excellence in public speaking is not achieved overnight, right? Practicing teaches the value of intentional growth and continuous improvement. Dedicate time to practice your speeches regularly. Rehearse in front of the mirror, record yourself or seek feedback from trusted people, your family, your friends. The more you practice, the more confident and polished your delivery will become. Got to bring value. Number six, focus on value. Maxwell's teachings emphasize the concept of adding value to others. Apply this principle to your keynotes and your speeches. 
Ensure that your message provides valuable insights, inspiration, and practical takeaways. When your audience perceives the value in what you share, they are more likely to be engaged and receptive. Now, soft skills. Number seven starts where it's really important. You got to build a connection through eye contact. Establishing a connection with your audience is paramount. Maintain eye contact to convey your confidence and sincerity. This encourages leaders to connect with people on a personal level. And eye contact is a powerful means to achieve this connection during public speaking. You got to handle your nervousness effectively. I see people that have little tics and sometimes they just can't be helped. And I understand it, but some they're just a nervous tick. Even seasoned speakers experience nervousness, right? Maxwell advises viewing nerves as a natural part of the process. That way you engage it. It usually helps you bypass it rather than suppressing them. Channel that energy into enthusiasm and passion for your message. Embrace nerves as a sign that you can, you care deeply about what you're talking about and you're making a meaningful impact for people. Number nine, you've got to seek feedback and learn. A commitment to lifelong learning is central to this philosophy. Actively seek feedback on your public speaking performances. Constructive criticism provides valuable insights. I'm telling you for improvement. Embrace each opportunity to learn and grow. Defining your skills with each presentation, and you're going to find that it gets easier and easier. I always tape or record my speaking engagements so I can reflect and adjust. After each speaking engagement, take time to reflect on what went well and areas that you need improvement. I advocate for self-reflection as a pathway to personal, professional growth. Adjust your approach based on these reflections, continuously refining your public speaking skills, and you'll get better and better. Remember, baby steps. It's like playing golf or bowling or any other activity. The more you do it, the better you get at it because you learn from your mistakes. So I'm going to leave you with this. Excelling at public speaking requires a combination of foundational skills, authenticity, continuous practice, and a commitment to adding value to your audience. Following these principles inspired by John Maxwell will empower you to become a more effective and influential communicator. Now, I hope you guys find this helpful. I get this question a lot on how I learned to do this, and I just shared it with you. If you would, please go to YouTube or Spotify or iTunes, Apple, iHeartRadio, anywhere that you listen to this or watch this podcast and hit the like and notifications button, hit the subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. We have seen a huge growth on YouTube in the last two months and you can watch the podcast on the YouTube channel and we greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day. Be safe. Take care. Find somebody and say something nice to them. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast. Please hit the subscribe and notification of new episodes button and visit us on social media like Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok for bonus content. <laughs>